yeah so like here i can tell you um and we'll just flex more pattern recognition this is a fanatic play right here where boaster's going right now on omen when they've he has one lane and this lane guy is gonna fight if they drop you should be going right here by these boxes and crouching to hold stairs it's a great off angle it shields you from lane you can easily swing to fight if your teammates start fighting and it's really good for holding stairs that's the correct play here in this type of scenario and let me just we're gonna pull it up we're gonna pull it up um bam i found the clip see i clipped this <laughs> i was watching this game and look at the mini map this is very similar to our round you see how we have a killjoy going towards back site and we're omen on site against a rush very similar to our round and notice how omen plays here he's got plenty he saw some paranoia too and it lands right in the lap of buzz alfie are suppressed not able to use any of his utility at least for now but most are still close by he's still see he's tucked behind that box there and when i was explaining this box to jg he was worried that like oh i'll get banged so i was looking for like pro footage to demonstrate that it's fine they can't really bang oh, and here you can see like even with multiple Alfier pros trying to bang poster he's fine is there so many members just on the other side of the wall but Alfier on the swing only able to spot one there it is the okay so here you can see that's why that's my my favorite angle here so in this situation here they're rushing you b i really want to see us trying to go towards that box if you enjoy the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join my official Discord over at discord.gg slash woohoojin. Here you can enter free raffles to win free VOD review live on stream. You can also support me with a premium membership, which unlocks access to private VCT restreams, professional player analysis, shared professional strategy channels, and much more. Enjoy the video. Woman on Ascent. Ooh. Wait, wait, Zach, you're, you're ranking up. The bananas are just the best coaches in the game take a guess at what rank this guy was when i gave him his first review here we are right now okay everyone's guessing right <laughs> there he is there he, dang he's let's see if we can get ascendant let's see let's see we're close since your worst map okay okay we'll go a bit into map theory on this map too since we're getting close to ascendant for zach ascent is one of the simpler maps in the game similar to bind it can sort of be a little flow charty so i'll try and walk it's more complicated but i'll try to walk you through how to get the correct reads on this map i'll smoke uh and now i go to mid oh okay we have no initiator this is gonna be tricky I can go be main, I think. Yeah, so if we're being real picky, this jet should come mid with you. Um, most common on this map when you're splitting B is you're going to have this smoke. Your jet will dash towards market. And Reyna can come out B because it's quite easy to enter out B main. You don't really need the uh, entry util. You throw like an omen flash market or something. Reloading. Whoa, don't run out. That's a phoenix. Oh, he's oh, on site in there. I'm going back. Okay, or make it all the way into your I'm smoke. Uh... Oh. So this is a bit of a mistake. Right here, your teammate dies untraded, and it's a phoenix. You can't come out in the open here. If they flash you off rip, you will not make it into that smoke across that you're trying to get to, and you'll be fully blind. You're not that guy. You can't dodge phoenix flash. You got to just cancel here. It's unfortunate they fought for mid, which they should do. Because you have a no initiator, it's going to be really tough for you to take mid control. But at this point, your buddy dies. You kind of just have to try and isolate this fight. And I'd take this 50. Because 50 50s when you're down a man are lit. They're lit. Okay, okay. We're about to violate one of the principles of this map. We have to be careful. On ascent, you generally want to avoid pushing into both mains and this is because you're you're giving away too much information about your formation you're almost always going to see only one side push into a main and this is because when once they see both of you like you this open flash and killjoy makes contact they know for sure that there's going to be people mid because he wouldn't just be split up three and two and they know you're kind of defaulting so you're giving away your full offensive formation with this type of setup Okay. I'll smoke cat. Okay, this is good. This is good. Smoking cat here is a little interesting. So you have two options when you're smoking mid. Of course, you can smoke bot mid and you can smoke cat. And all three of your teammates are tiles. So by smoking cat, Shadows traveling. 
these three guys have to come out and fight this way. And I think this is actually more awkward. I think if you're going to smoke cat, it makes more sense for them to be up here. And since they're all tiles, I think the bot mid smoke makes more sense. Shadows traveling. Also, I already show you a little cool smoke you could do. This is like pretty worthless in solo queue. But if you're duo with that jet or you happen to be mid, if you smoke a bit more in the ground here, I think it's red and like your jet comes up here. Let me wait for my first smoke to dissipate. They can actually see over it. To like a surprising angle. Okay. Okay, so our first contact has been made and it's been made B main with an op. If the enemy team has the correct intuition because they were pushing into B main, A main should be open right now. And so you should take that space and most likely call the team towards A off this pick. So now we're playing too passive. We need to have the read that they're not pushing. The yes, see, and there the they both push cat. See, it's empty. So anybody who says like these types of reads don't work in their ELO, they're, they're just, they're crazy. It works most of the time. So they pushed into B main just naturally. They're less likely to be in A main. So we could have taken this space faster. Mm. On the left now, man. I would not have cashed out yet. So you see one, but they have the bomb. And I'm pretty sure you just heard noise. Sabrosa. I would probably look for two here. Killing just one. Now your location is known. Reyna's location is known. And you need to get the bomb and play the it. Moment. I don't like it. Last player oh, she's behind me. What was mid and what was there? You got an operator on the right side. One enemy remaining. Nice last one, operator. Going out. Oh, sure. Yeah, this operator. is just not good. You know he has an operator, and then you just you diagonal peaked tiles, <laughs> and your smoke is like not even four tiles. You gotta slow it down. You should have flashed this guy. Smoked it correctly. Operator 6 HP. Sheesh. Oh, yeah, this is just an awareness thing. Uh, at the start of the round, Phoenix and Neon contested a main. Oper and they don't see Phoenix Operator on site here. So while you're in your smoke, we just have to assess the situation a bit better. We should be aware that Phoenix was in this area. And so this is a bit ambitious to walk out so quickly especially after we just got a kill from the smoke oh, that tp was dangerous Let me peek. you should pick that phoenix whoa oh, look Wait. that guy's out in the open Let me peek. on mid now he's gone okay so again we just got to pick b main so we can almost discount this a main pressure is this zero percent chance no but to play optimally we should just ignore a main at this point it's unlikely they pushed both nice. it's not zero percent but it's a decently safe gamble uh, i would throw the one way here so when the bomb is down stalling is king so we know she's ct so just throw this one way smoke up here you can even tp across now and you can just hold like this. And she kind of has to come out. She's here. And it feels really bad for her to walk out this way. Um, you can also throw it up here. There's like a million ways you can throw it. Shadows traveling. Up here is not bad. Your sight players are down to play back here. Okay. We're six rounds in. What's the read, Zach? What's the read? How do these guys play? How do we beat them? A main sometimes they fight for mid if we do that's normal though nothing about that is suboptimal or weird on this map other than that you got nothing boss okay awesome so we need to keep our eyes open for things that you don't see every game when you play ascent and this game that would be them it's not just that they push like a or b main it's that they um heavily contest mid on defense which is not normal like they sometimes allocate three entire agents and specifically B main, they fight it with multiple agents every time. They don't just have one guy, they have like two guys. And same idea A main, a lot of the time when they fight for it, it's two guys. With no initiator, I would almost certainly try to take advantage of these two guys. Like the rounds that we've been winning are the rounds that these two people have died. So I would probably start the round decently quiet 
because I think like Phoenix might ult or they might just run out a main or flash and that's when I would like explode mid is weak mid is not weak this game the defenders are holding it aggressively and we don't have an initiator this is interesting Now your smokes are almost certainly going to have to be in disagreement with each other. And yeah, this is good that you're turning around because there's nothing A main. So they're almost certainly two pushing out B main or something weird. Like this team gets really aggressive with their B main pushing. So yeah, I would stare right here for the next 15 seconds. Just let the team... Ooh. What the fuck? Okay, okay. Anyway, you rotate. Oh, I found the last guy. It's lit. If you wanted to smoke for them, I would have... This is a concept. So I'm going to try and explain. So while you're standing here, this space is effectively clear. And if you come over here to smoke now, you'll never get shot because you just cleared all of this space. They can't get here in like the time where you come over here and smoke and then get your gun out and come back. So it's a lot safer to do that. It's called like clearing a timing window. Uh, I don't know like good herbiage for it, but let's, for example, say that you got full info on this region and you know that it's empty. Now you have like a certain amount of time where the enemies can't peek you in this type of way. Like it's not a threat for, let's say two seconds, three seconds after you've gained all of this information. Same idea here. So you were looking this way and you gained the info that, oh, they're not here. And so if we'd use that info to position ourselves over here to throw our smoke, it'd be a lot safer, a lot safer. Well, I said you're smoking in the open like this. And if they're pushing out B main, which is likely, very likely, you're lucky that they didn't because there's no pressure A main. So they're likely to be pushing out B main that you're, you're like a free kill. Hmm. Usually he's on the right side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, I should have paused a second earlier. Oh, wait. <laughs> like I saw you going to flash the left side, but they've always been playing on the right. And so you flashed and I know mean, they are. No way. Oh, okay. I like this flash. I don't like that jet's in front of you. You're about to blind her. You want to start like for this to the right. And when you throw this, ideally you want your jet to updraft over and push really fast. Help. Help. To heaven. To heaven. Ooh, yeah, don't go hell when you get scanned. No so the safest place you can be when you get scanned is actually pretty much right where you are. If you get scanned and you're hugging this wall here, these guys can't really bang you. Notice the bullets don't go through at this angle. They'll go through at this angle, but that would hit you if you're like here. So if you're hugging this wall here and you like crouch, you're safe. You're safe. Super safe. They can't touch you. Uh, actually, that guy does have an op. Can heavy pen? You might be dead. You might be dead. You might be dead. It really depends. I say it increases your odds of living. Wow, wow. Yeah, you're fucking dog shit, dude. That's right. Whoa! Yeah, I would just, I would just skedaddle. I just skedaddle. Flash the guy. Leave. Leave. Look at them. What are you? You should have knifed him. Should have knifed him at that point. But you also shouldn't be. <laughs> like, look, at this point, we have everything. Our team is taking full B control. We have huge numbers advantage. I know it's 5v3. I'm not going to expect you to notice it became 5v2. But you got to get out of here, man. You got to get out. You got 72 HP. This is not 50 50. Just one more bear. But then you should have knifed that guy. She's inside. She's inside. Okay, okay. Decent offense. Decent offense. Um, gonna have to give you a strike though. We were lurking, we got a kill, and then you just kept fighting. And I'm probably gonna, I, <laughs> I, even on offense, I think we're gonna have to run it back. With these A post plants, Omen is usually the most cozy falling into this A main area because he can one way off the bomb and play off of his smoke in this type of manner. And it's just really hard for um, defenders to deal with this. I would like to see us trying to play this way a bit more. I liked that we went to throw this one-way tree that one round, but I didn't like how we always found ourselves positioned like here. This is such a weird 
awkward angle to play post plant from hell is a bit better if we can get here untagged uh even better is main uh pushing heaven's not bad either like when we were doing that Ooh, bit early bit early bit early you want to swing after the arrow disappears See that arrow is still there on the ground you do not want to swing until that arrow has gone otherwise this can happen so if you're gonna do this falling smoke which i quite like Cover going out. you wait arrow's gone you swing okay this is a bit much util they I'll might leave got it oh, okay they might come three people there a hundred and three people Oh, it's so lit. Ooh. Yeah, it was a good stack. I think we burned a bit too much util off rip. Like that omen flash was a bit early. We couldn't capitalize off of it. I'll pick up my own. Any steps? Yeah, now we need to go cover this guy's stairs ASAP and help Reyna. <laughs> He's spraying in the sky. <laughs> what? What? Hold this close. 120 on site. 120 on site. Favor. Yes, the Phoenix is main. One enemy remaining. Left side. Us. Ooh. Oh, you lucky. You lucky. Okay. We've really misplayed this. Taking the up one. So spraying here is not the worst. But like at this point, we have everybody here our rain is fighting stairs our just market we have to come out of the smoke we have to fight for this space and yeah i mean just look we're spraying we're spraying nothing man <laughs> defense is looking good defense is looking good One more. yes sir One now what do we want to do now that we have time to think because i've paused the video and we're no longer in the heat of the moment. So what do you want to do here, Zach? Get out because you're alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One more even. Cover going out. How did I know? How did I know you weren't going to do that? So what I would probably do is I would go take the free kill angle. So you're here. I probably TP in this direction and I come and hold here. You hold up against the wall. And let me spray the penguin so you can see what this looks like from their POV. This guy coming out to close the door, he like doesn't see you yet. And he's going to look up at like this type of angle. And then bam, there you are. Nobody's like looking here at this point. They're looking gen at one of these angles generally when they go to close the door. So this off angle is really safe and it's like a free kill. And the reason it's good here is they don't even have smokes alive. So since they don't have smokes alive, um, they can't really smoke off tree. So I would hold that angle there for sure. And you know, I love pulling up um I love pulling up videos to show you guys this. So let me grab Molly's good for now. He's just running out on me. Oh my Man, how does he find these VODs so fast? And you can see where this guy's looking when he shoots. You see he's not looking at us at all. He gets like surprised. See he's looking away as we shoot at him. Go. I'm gonna go through this. Uh, Nocti, this has nothing to do with good memory and everything to do with um, the way our brains work. As you learn some type of discipline, your brain builds these like neurological connections in your brain that makes it easier to think in terms of like that skill. As you reach mastery, the patterns that you see in these games become more and more like built into you. Like, for example, you can't list off all the words you know right now. You couldn't list off every word you know. But the moment I show you a word, that you didn't have on the top of your mind, but you do know, your brain is like, yeah, I know that word. That's lexicon. That means vocabulary. You couldn't have like summoned that word, but the moment you see a pattern show up, your brain is like, yeah, 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 I know that. And our brains can form that type of memory um, all over the place. So you'll see like a chess grandmaster can be like, oh, this is just like Mikhail Tal versus Ekin Kasparov in 1953. I recognize this position. And then in Valorant, I can be like, oh, this is just like BCJ on Ascent with 25 kills. Because I've seen the VOD and my brain is wired in such a way that I it like internalizes these patterns. And I am not unique here. Your brain will also develop these patterns if you spend a year playing two ranked games a day and watching multiple pro VODs. I promise. And you'll start dreaming about Valorant. And 
it's just how the human brain works. You're not unique. We all have the same type of brain. It seems impressive. It's like, whoa, how does he remember all these things? But your brain would work exactly the same way if you had my type of um, experience. I know exactly yeah, so like here I can tell you, um, and we'll just flex more pattern recognition. This is a fanatic play right here. Where Boaster's going right now on Omen, when they've he has one lane, and this lane guy is going to fight if they drop. You should be going right here by these boxes and crouching to hold stairs. It's a great off angle. It shields you from lane. You can easily swing to fight if your teammates start fighting. And it's really good for holding stairs. That's the correct play here in this type of scenario. And let me just... We're going to pull it up. We're going to pull it up. Um, Bam. I found the clip. See, I clipped this. <laughs> I was watching this game. And look at the minimap. This is very similar to our round. You see how we have a Killjoy? going towards back site and we're omen on site against a rush very similar to our round and notice how omen plays here he's got plenty he saw his paranoia too and it lands right in the lap of buzz alfie are suppressed not able to use any utility at least for now but boasts are still close by he's still see he's tucked behind that box there and when i was explaining this box to jg he was worried that like oh i'll get banged so I was looking for like pro footage to demonstrate that it's fine. They can't really bang. Oh, and here you can see, like even with multiple Alfier pros trying to bang Poster, he's fine. There so many members just on the other side of the wall, but Alfier on the swing, only able to spot one. There it is. The okay, so here you can see that's why this is my my favorite angle here. So in this situation here, they're rushing you B. I really want to see us trying to go towards that box. Coming up lane like this, um, you're likely to get flashed first of all. You're also likely to get pre-fired through this wall and when you swing like that like if you were about to swing your kills are can't do anything about it yeah i'm not surprised we're up 400 rr your defense is looking way more accurate i like what i'm seeing um since this is a brimstone smoke god i'm dropping all the esoteric knowledge right now I'm pretty sure because the brimstone smoke is so small yeah you can actually just come up here and still see them just fine uh it's like here yeah you can still spot them coming in over the smoke and fight them here as they come in the tree because this smoke is so small it doesn't spot you um let me sh there's a consistent way to do this jump up in the angle that box is so finicky you can learn how to do it the idea is you get up against this corner first and then you just jump and you hold um like to the side and you can just get up and this is fine you can just watch this walk out here She will switch. There's an op right here. We should follow Bogdan's law. We're super low HP. The operator makes more sense in our hands because now we're one shot, but so are they. Without the switch. op, we have to like hit a nice headshot on them. God, you're so much better. You need to watch more pro gameplay. We're getting ahead of ourselves. We're at a point now where you generally understand what you want to fight for but you don't understand the best ways to fight for it, if that makes sense. You'll have like a good intuition where you'll be like, yeah, I want to rotate and yeah, I want to hold B with my teammate. But then the way that you actually fight for B is quite inefficient. It's quite ineffective. You'll play some weak angle. You'll take some fight from this box. Something that you wouldn't really see a higher rated player do when they're answering your problem. So the way you work on this is anytime you get in this type of scenario, like you're on B, and you feel weird. You're like, I don't know where I'm going to play. And you just go pick a spot. What you do is you alt tab. You alt tab to some notepad that you have open or some Google Keep. And then under the ascent, you write, how do I hold B more comfortably? You keep writing questions down like this for situations where you didn't have a good answer. The, and it's really important to write these down because now when you go watch an ascent VOD, Xander Omen Ascent, you know what you're looking for.